humanize one of the valuable and sensitive sense organs. It helps us to see the wonderful world around us. The human eye works like camera. Here you can see the structure of the human eye. Cornea, iris, crystalline lens, pupil, ciliary muscles, retina and optic nerves. The eyeball of a human eye is spherical in shape and it's approximately 2.3 cm long its diameter. Now a question arrives here that how do we see the object? And the answer is light enters the eye through a thin membrane called cornea as you can see here. Its lens system forms an image of a light sensitive screen called the retina. Here you can see the retina also. Now iris. What is iris? Iris is a dark muscular diaphragm that controls the pupil. Pupil? What is pupil? Pupil is a opening window of an eye that regulates and controls the amount of light enter her eye. Now, the crystalline lens merely provides the thinner adjustment of focal length required to focus objects at different distance on the retina. Retina is a delicate membrane that is enormous number of light cells. Now, the eye lens forms an interreal image of the object on the retina. The, the light sensitive cells get activated upon illumination and generate electrical signals. These signals are sent to the brain by the optic nerves. And finally, the brain processes. And as a result, we can see the object as they are. gradually lost the power of acotomations. This led to a condition when a person cannot see the objects clearly. The vision is blurred. There are three types of common defect in vision. Let's study. First is myopia, second is hypermetropia and third is presbyopia. They can be, uh, they can be corrected by the use of suitable spherical lenses. Let's study how it's possible. First, myopia. Myopia is also known as nearsightedness. A person suffering from it can see the nearby objects clearly, but cannot see distant object clearly or cannot see it. A person suffering from it has far point nearer than infinity. In myopic eye, the image of distant image falls in the front of retina, not in the retina itself. This is corrected by a concave lens of suitable power. This brings the image back on retina and thus the defect is corrected. It's amazing, right? Second, hypermetropia. It is also known as farsightness. A person suffering from it can see the distinct object clearly but cannot see the nearby object. The near point for the person is farther away from the normal near point. As a result, the image of the near point forms after the retina. To correct this, we use convex lens of the appropriate power. As a result, the image is formed on the retina and thus the defect is corrected. Third, presbyopia. The power of accommodation of the eye decreases with aging. For most of the people, the near point gradually reduces away. They find it difficult to see the nearby objects comfortably and distinctively with, without the use of corrective eye glasses. This defect is known as presbyopia. It happens due to the weakening of ciliary muscles. Sometimes the people suffer from both myopia and hypermetropia. So for this condition, they should use bifocal lenses which has concave and convex both of the lenses. As a result, the defect is corrected. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe the video.